wanting to put a garden in our yard for years, but because we live in a forested area with a lot of wildlife, we've been kind of discouraged. But this year, we decided it would be fun to try a planter box. So my husband went out and bought a bunch of supplies, which included about nine planks, and he trimmed about a half an inch off each end, and then he cut three planks in half. So we had long pieces for each side and short pieces for the ends. After cutting the planks, we applied some penifin, which is basically a top coat to protect the cedar. And you just want to put this on the outside of your cedar box. You don't want that to be on the inside against your plants. But anyway, this kind of helps protect the wood and is really pretty to look at. So this is how the yard looks after a long winter. It's a huge mess and this area right here is obviously where the planter box is going to go. Well, my husband works on the garden box outside. I'm inside working on getting these seeds planted. So if you don't have your own greenhouse, which most of us don't, all you have to do is purchase a gardening tray and they come with inserts. And then I used the Jiffy pellets, which I'll link below to use as a median for my seeds. So all you do with those, they come like a compressed disc and you put them inside your gardening tray and then add water and then you have the perfect little median for your seeds to grow. So it's really easy to do. And then you put the the lid on top creating the greenhouse effect. Okay so this is what your pellets look like once they've filled up with water and you can, you can clearly see where your seeds are going to go. Some of them that aren't as defined you could just use like the tip of a pen or something to make sure you have a nice hole to put your seed in and I'm gonna go ahead and just start planting. Now make sure you label everything so you don't get confused when you go to replant these outside and also pay attention to the back of your seed packet to make sure you're planting them at the right depth. That's all there is to it. So once you've poured your water over the pellets, just give it a second, and then if you see some that maybe aren't rising as well, then just add a little bit more water. So don't be afraid to just move that casing, and then you can just pick up some of the dirt and just make sure that this little seed is covered. And that's all you have to do. This doesn't really matter anymore, so you can push that back and then get in and, and make sure you have enough dirt covering each seed. Start by connecting the cedar plank sides and you'll want to connect the end pieces first using an exterior deck screw and a hand drill. So this is what the planter box looks like completed and we are going to have to groom the side here so that we will have a good place to put this and so that takes a bit of manual labor. Different ways you can go about that. Layla's trying to help here. <laughs> basic part now we're just putting up gates we are doing two gates and my husband's taking some final measurements here the posts are high enough so the deer can't get in and then we have the the mesh fencing there just to keep the rabbits out and that sort of thing so see how it goes mm -hmm. 